He's he's dead. Like like really actually dead. Jinkies! Jeepers! Zoinks! Son of a bitch. Later. Okay. <laughs> Uh, for those who welcome to a thunderstruck video a thunderstruck video is basically not a full-fledged retrospective or review it's just my loose thoughts about a movie a tv show or an episode of a something hell even a random topic and for today we're just going to be talking about something i really liked and i love scooby-doo I've always been a Hanna-Barbera fan growing up as a kid. And I love the show Supernatural. Jensen Ackles has been my dude since Smallville. If you know, you know. And I thought this episode was really funny. It was cool to see the Scooby gang interact with the Winchesters and Castiel. I always wondered what it was like if Scooby-Doo took itself kind of seriously. Not uber serious it wasn't like grim dark or anything but like if there were real consequences and it was kind of like that on zombie island but we haven't had something like zombie island in a long time also go check out that scooby-doo web series that's come out recently it's kind of the answer to my prayers though we haven't gotten that an official Scooby-Doo property. And obviously, Scooby-Doo has been no stranger to crossovers. We've gotten crossovers from the likes of Kiss, Crash the Cowardly Dog, DC Comics, Harlem Globetrotters, a uh, bunch of celebrities like Don Knox. Like, you name it, we've done it, we've seen it. But what makes the Scooby natural crossover interesting is that we get to dissect each one of the Scooby gang's personalities and see it played for laughs. Like there's a whole bit about Velma and Sam. And I think it's funny that Z Velma and Sam get paired up because both of them are kind of the nerdy type people. And objectively, they're both the hottest people on the show. So that's, there you go. But like, it's very interesting to see the two analytical people butt heads, but also have cool sexual attention. And then on the flip side, you have Dean who really wants to bone Daphne. And I don't know if Daphne's like cool with it. Like a part of me is like, oh yeah, she, she kind of likes it. But another part of me is like, but aren't you dating Fred? And then you have the scene where Shaggy and Scooby are just livid with the whole gang they're just like bro we tried to freaking warn you about these monsters man so everything you told me it's true mm -hmm. werewolves vampires demons mm -hmm. i thought i was blind without my glasses but i was just blind oh, how could i be so stupid uh well i mean We've been stopping real estate developers when we could have been hunting Dracula? Are you kidding me? My life is meaningless. If there are ghosts, that means there's an afterlife. Heaven, hell. Am I going to hell? We told you every freaking time. But did you ever listen to Scoob and me? No. We do. But you never believed us. Oh, man, that's so funny. I thought Cass and Shaggy and Scooby were... It made sense because they're the sidekicks, but they're also like 
the show's mascots in a way, so it kind of makes sense. I really wanted to see a race between the Mystery Machine and the Chevy Impala, but we never got that. That would have been interesting. Overall, the ghost was a simple ghost. It's kind of cool how they reshot. Like, this episode wasn't just made for Supernatural, but it was an episode that really occurred in Scooby-Doo, and the, they took the time to reshoot and remake all of the episodes. It was really interesting. Overall, this was a pretty solid show, pretty solid episode. I'd love to see, well, Supernatural's over now, but I'd love to see more Scooby-Doo crossovers in this style. If you agree or disagree with anything I've said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know the next time we upload. And thanks for watching.